Okay, hey guys. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Bianca here. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the travel content lately. I just wanted to come in here real quick and give you guys a little learning vlog. If you're not an editor, filmmaker, and you're just here for the fun content, check into the next one. This is a learning and little review process of this new color grading software that I've been using called Cinemagrade. Regardless, if you're new here, be sure to uh, subscribe, turn those notifications on, post new videos every once in a while. Try to do it frequently, but you know, life. All right, so recently I uh, directed a music video. We just did a simple concept, just she wanted just different color backdrops and like swapping through the backdrops with her friend. This is a really simple like little clip right here. I really like the way the red um, popped. We shot it in log, so it was just a little bit less contrasty. Um, I was using a new uh, a new external recorder, and I think I had the settings tweaked a little wrong because this doesn't look as flat as it usually does when I shoot log. So I'm not really sure. But I did a two process here for the color grading. I went ahead and did did a a Lumetri color first, and just kind of like tweaked things a little bit. It was still dark though and I went ahead and did the rest in CinemaGrade. So CinemaGrade um, is an external... CinemaGrade. CinemaGrade is a color grading software that runs as a plugin inside of Premiere Pro, or I believe they also have it for Final Cut Pro. One little downside, it is only for Mac users at the moment. I know that's um, a big thing that people comment on frequently. Why, I don't know, but that's just the way it is. All right, so once you uh, get this software, it goes into your Premiere Pro, and if you go into your effects and you type in CinemaGrade, it's right here as a plugin. So you go ahead and drag it on there, and it, it pops up right here like this. If you click on this open controls thing, boom, you get an entirely new color grading software. This is a direct editing software where you can click on something that you want to adjust and it adjusts. I mean, it's obviously good to know what you're changing if, if you're doing this as a professional, but you could just adjust what it is that you see that needs adjusting without having to know exactly what you're tweaking. So when you get into this color grading software like this, it's this layout. You have stuff over here. Let me pin this so you can see it. Then you have your normal stuff over here. You could also pin it. And then in this pro version, you also have your waveforms, your vector soap and your histograms. And then there's going to be three settings. So you have your base correction, your shot match, and your final grade. So you have your stuff, your highlights, midtones, shadow adjustments. And then down here, it tells you like exactly what you need to do. It's kind of like an on-screen walkthrough. So over here, you can do the contrast pivot. If you hold it down, if you hold any of these things down with little arrows, like if you click on it and hold, you'll get the other things. So you can just change exposure. And then if you click on the image and bump it up, look at my whole exposure is going up. Boom. If I just click on it and I go to shadows, midtones, and highlights, then I could click where I want. So suppose this area right here, it, I want it a little bit darker. I click on it and I drag it down. Boom. Goes a little darker just on that area. And if you notice over here, it's changing what it needs to change without me needing to like play with it, you know? You have the contrast. So this is your color temp. You can do an auto white balance. You could also saturate your shadows, midtones, and highlights too. So also again here, it just tells you what to do. And you click and you want to saturate that or you want to unsaturate your shadows. So this last one is what I find to be the best and what gives you that more uh, professional feel. So this is basically like what you would be able to do in Lightroom or Photoshop where you can adjust the Luma. Here it tells you the specifics of if you're just gonna click and drag up and down, you're gonna adjust the hue. So the whole color is gonna adjust. It's a little tricky in this one because it adjusts for that color. And the way we did this music video, she was wearing the similar, t the similar uh, color scheme of whatever the background was. So it kind of made it a little bit trickier to grade. And then if you click here and if you click uh, command and you drag up, you can make, but again, so, so the skin and everything is popping at the same, the same time. So let me just go back to the red. But also once you get in here more, you can get these key, these shortcut keys and it will make your process a lot faster. 
I just want to saturate, you know, this red a little bit, make her make it pop. And then her skin, if you notice on like commercials and stuff like that, usually the skin of, of the talent is always, you know, popping. So we're gonna do that by bumping up the Luma. Boom. Okay. Then if you go over here to this little eyeball before and after. You can't play through the clip on here, but if you click uh, this little arrow down here, you can like scroll through the clip, which is cool, I guess. So all these clips, right? So I had all these clips here for the music video and they all had different scenes. If you highlight all the clips that you want to use this on, they're all uh, selected and then you drag this plugin on to them and it will apply it to all of them, right? So once you do that and you click open controls, then if you click here, you'll have all the clips that you applied it to already here, okay? Once you do that, suppose you got this shot graded, boom, it's just how you want it. You're gonna go over to the shot matching section. This page right here, it's your shot matching section, right? So I have pink backgrounds, I have reds. Okay, so you edited this, this red color, whichever one it was, I don't know, this one. So you mark it as your hero frame right here, right? And then you select anything that is that same exact color, the same exact color grade, right? Boom. So I have those three, okay? And then you click match shots over here. And it's going to pull up this side by side. This, this one would be uh, color graded and this one wouldn't. So it's the same thing. So you're going to copy your corrections and you have everything here. And then you're going to apply it to the whole group, which is going to be, if you come here, you can do the arrows. And it's all the shots that you selected in that grouping which saves you so much time it's great if you needed to still tweak things you have the full uh, basic corrections that you did on the, the section before on this as well so like suppose you did the shot match and this is still um, it's too just too light here we're gonna I mean that looks terrible but you get what I mean once that's done and you have your shots all matched you could do different selections here like on this side for your different scenes and then you go to the final grade. This is if you have to do any last minute tweaks or if you want to add a LUT. So LUTs give you that overall same feel, right? So there's really good looks, look, there's really good looks and LUTs in this. So if you're in the final grade process over here to the left, you'll have LUTs and it shows you a preview of what everything's going to look like already. And this is a really like red clip, so it's kind of hard to tell, but if you want moods, uh, time of the day. Let's just go with, I don't really want to use any of these to be honest. Um, let's go with, no, you have a spot here for your recent. Let's go with enhance, right? So you accept it, boom. This is too, way too strong, right? Way too strong. So if you go over here to the current, you can put the, put it down here. So you can dial it all the way back and then just put it to your liking. All right, so you're good. And then you're gonna click apply if you're doing this to like an overall group, you're gonna do all grades. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna mess up what I already have, but, and then you're gonna have to exit out of this. Done. The best part of this is that it's intuitive and you can just click on whatever it is you want to uh, change here. Just drag it down and that's how you can play with the whole clip. Maybe let's change her hair color, you know? We want it real bright purple. Uh, we want it more blue. It's, it's just a super intuitive uh, software that really takes your grading to the next level. This just makes the process a whole lot easier. Check out the software for yourself, see if you like it. Again, they have it for Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. It is only for Mac, but they do have a free trial. So go ahead and try the free trial out. If you do go ahead and get it, save 20% off by using the code. I'll put the link down in the description. Let me know what you guys think down in the description below. Did it make your job easier, harder, better color grades? Did you get that more cinematic look? Something that I also found with this program was, so I would do the, the color grade with uh, Lumetri, and then I would do the color grade with Cinema Grade, and at sometimes I was like, well, it's kind of the same thing, you know? Like, why would I, why would I spend money to get this other software, right? But then I would compare the two shots where I did the same grade, and for some reason the Cinema Grade <clears throat> the cinema grade color grade even though they were like like slightly the same the cinema grade one just looked better like and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys a lie like I've tried it 
I did notice that whatever I did in the cinema grade uh, software, it just looked more professional. Like it looked cleaner, it looked more cinematic. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, it could just be me, but I don't think so. Um, there's just something about, I don't know if it's the way that it works with the colors and the way it, it reacts. It just looked looked a little better. Like, I mean, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna stop talking now. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, be sure to subscribe, turn those notifications on, new videos often. All right, and we will uh, see you in the next one. Later.